God for another broadcast on Kingdom Purpose Television. Amen. I am Evangelist Rochelle McClam Melton, host of Throughout Generations Ministry. Elder Diamond McClam is a co-host, and we thank you for tuning in to Kingdom Purpose today, because God has a blessing with your name on it. And hallelujah, we thank God for his goodness, thank God for being saved and sanctified and filled with his precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And you know what we need in these days and times that God told me to talk about today is wisdom. Thank you, Lord. Wisdom. We're living in the season that you need God's wisdom. Wisdom comes from God. Amen. We thank God for his wisdom. Having wisdom to know when to go in and when to come out. The wisdom to be that will, hallelujah, that will save our life. That will order our steps. Oh, God. Amen. And I thank God because wisdom is the principal thing. The Bible tells us with all getting, get understanding. Wisdom comes from God. Wisdom, the fear and the respect and the awe of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you realize that you can't do nothing without God, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Speak, Holy Ghost. When you realize, hallelujah, that you have to reverence God, that you respect God, and that you, hallelujah, you see his awesomeness. That you see how wonderful he is. And that he has all power. Wisdom should tell you. It should kick in and tell you that you need God. <laughs> you need God and hey God. Thank you, Lord. In every situation, every decision, amen, that you make. Wisdom is the principal thing. With wisdom comes understanding of where, which way God wants us to go. He said, my sheep hear your voice. And another they will not follow. That's wisdom. Being able to hear God and have a relationship with God. That's the first thing. Hallelujah. To be able to know that you need God in your life. That you need to be saved. That you need to be delivered. That you need, hallelujah, to be living for God. Amen. That is wisdom. To know that you cannot do anything from God. You can't wake up, hallelujah, without God. You can't go to sleep without God. You can't, hallelujah, you can't move. You can't breathe without God. That is called wisdom. Amen. We thank God for the wisdom, knowing, hallelujah, that wisdom is what we need. And I thank God because King Solomon, who was known as the wisest man in the Bible, he heard about the stories. Amen. I'm talking, going back to his father, David. He heard the stories and saw how God was with his father, King David, when there were uh, when there was a when he was a shepherd boy, even as a little boy before his father became king, he heard the stories about how his father killed a bear and a lion. Thank you, Lord. And, and that's in First Samuel the seventeenth verse at seventeenth chapter, 30, verse thirty four through thirty six. He heard how he was out there tending the sheep, and a bear and a lion came. Thank you, Jesus. And how God gave him the wisdom and the strength and the power to defeat those of the bear and that enemy. He heard about, hallelujah, Goliath. Amen. He was a big giant that was tormenting the people of God and the big kings, hallelujah, and the big army, the ones that they thought that was going to be able to defeat that Goliath. They became fearful, hallelujah, of that giant. But hallelujah, David rose up with wisdom, amen, and with power, knowing God, that's where wisdom comes from, knowing God. When you have that relationship with God, he, hallelujah, he heard that Goliath was tormenting the people and saying that, you know, that in other words, that God was not uh, comparing to him. Amen. He was not stronger than him. And David rose up, hallelujah, with his faith, with his strong faith, and saying, you come against me in the, with a sword and a spear, but I come against you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Lord. And some things that you, hallelujah, that you have to fight with. You have to be bold. You have to know God for yourself, oh God. That God, hallelujah, will defeat the enemy for you. Hallelujah, the enemy come against you like, like Goliath did with a sword and a spear. Hallelujah, not maybe a natural sword, but a sword that can penetrate and can pierce you. Some things that you've been going through, hallelujah, that have came into your life. Amen, that try to destroy you. Hallelujah, he said, 
David said, you come to me with a spirit and a sword, trying to destroy my life, trying to destroy the people of God's life. He said, but I come to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Demons got to flee. Hey, thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It can move mountains. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the yoke can be destroyed. In the precious name of Jesus. Because why? There's power in that name. And when you receive wisdom, hallelujah, to know that there is no other name, hallelujah, under heaven, that man can be saved, but through the name of Jesus. Everything that we need is in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank him because wisdom in 2 Chronicles, the first chapter, hallelujah, in the 11th verse, it tells, that, uh, it tells us about Solomon. He asked after he became king, after his father David died. And God asked him, thank you, Lord, what do you want from me? And, and Solomon, hallelujah, he prayed and he thought about it. And he said, Lord, give me wisdom. He could have asked for anything. God asked him, what did he want? And if God asked you, thank you, Lord, what do you want? What would be your answer? Thank you, Lord. That's a key point right there. If God asked you, what do you want? Hallelujah. What would be your answer? Do you have wisdom enough to know? Just like Solomon said, Lord, give me wisdom. Amen. And because he asked God for wisdom, thank you, Lord. He gave him, he said, because you asked for wisdom, I'm going to give you riches. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Untold. And your name will go down in history and in the word of God that you are the wisest man. Amen. That hallelujah, that, uh, that, in the, it, that will ever live. Because you had wisdom enough not to ask for riches and not to ask for gold. Not saying that anything is wrong with that, but you need God first. He had the wisdom to know, hallelujah, that he had to humble himself before God, that he was not strong enough without God. Hallelujah. And God blessed him. And Matthew, the seventh chapter, thank you, Lord. And the 24th through the 26th verse said, Therefore, whosoever hear the, these sayings of mine, talking about the word of God, and do them. I would liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock, and that rock is Christ Jesus. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and it fell not. Why? Because it was founded upon that rock. It stood upon that rock. And hallelujah, I hear him say, On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the earth is sinking, sand, but on Christ the solid rock I stand. Hallelujah. We thank God for being that solid foundation. When you feel like you, hallelujah, that you're waving and tossing and going to and forth, like the enemy is going to swallow you up. Hallelujah. That you can't stand. Hallelujah. In the midst of every trial, every tribulation, oh God. Amen. Hallelujah. Call on Jesus. That Christ, that solid rock. Amen. And he will keep you. He told me at one time when I was going through something, he said, you're sure-footed. And I said, Lord, that's not something that you use or lose. But he was telling me, thank you, God, that my feet was planted on a rock. Hallelujah. And on Christ, hallelujah, say on Christ, somebody, the solid rock I stand. All of the earth is sick and sad. Hallelujah. If you build your life on that foundation, that is wisdom. Hallelujah. When you, when you know that God is with you, that is wisdom. And that if he's for you, he's more than the world against you. And it said, hallelujah, and if any, amen, and it said also, he would liken it to a wise man that built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and it fell not. Somebody say, I'm not going to fall. Hallelujah. I'm not going to bend, and I'm not going to break, because I am founded upon that right, which is Christ Jesus. But then he tells you, hallelujah, thank you, God. And he that hears my words and doeth them not. You better read this scripture. You better read this verse. Hallelujah. Matthew, the seventh chapter. Hallelujah. You better read this verse. He said, and he that hears my words and doeth them not. Hallelujah. I will liken him unto a foolish man. If you don't have sense enough, thank you, Lord. Ask God for that wisdom. He'll give it to you liberally. Hallelujah. If you, if you don't have the mind right now to serve God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and your strength. He said it's like it to a foolish man. Hallelujah. How many know that you've done some foolish things in your life? Thank you, God. That was because you didn't trust God. You didn't have that wisdom to know that God was, hallelujah, the person that you needed to see. And he said, hallelujah. And if you don't, he said, he that hear my words and doeth them not. You can go to church, 
Sunday after Sunday. The preacher can preach. Hallelujah. The teacher can teach. But if you're not, if you're just being a hearer of the word and not a doer, that's what makes you foolish. Hallelujah. He said, I will liken you unto a foolish man. And when the floods come, I'm talking about the trials and the tribulations in life, and the winds blow and beat upon that house, it fell. Why? Because he wasn't founded upon that rock. He didn't believe what God said. Or either he didn't trust what God said. A lot of times we say we believe it. But hallelujah, like I said, the word, hallelujah, don't just be a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word. Don't be a, just a hearer. I am saying just don't be a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word. So that means that you have to have enough wisdom to know, to read your word. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Because it, in the word of God, there's everything that we need. There's all types of instructions. Hallelujah. To tell you what to do and what not to do. Amen. Solomon was known as the wisest man ever that ever lived. But why? Because he asked God for wisdom. Second, That was in Second Chronicles, as I said, the first verse, 11 through 12. Wisdom. Hallelujah. Not just knowledge. Hallelujah. But insight. And how to apply the knowledge that we learn. Wisdom, hallelujah, I'm going to say that again, is not just knowledge, but it's insight, hallelujah, of how to apply the knowledge effectively that we have learned. Well, hallelujah, we thank God. Spiritual wisdom. You can easily be acquainted with the, the, uh, the truths or the principles, but if you don't apply them to your life, that information to your life, you are just the opposite. You're just foolish. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Like the five wise and the five foolish virgins. I'm going to go to this scripture. Amen. And as we continue to lift up God and ask him for wisdom on today, because he is the one that gives it to us. Oh, God, and we're asking him to order our steps. Amen. As we play this song, we don't have the rights. We don't own the rights to this music. But we're going to ask God to order our steps so we can be wise and to know where God is leading us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, we thank you, oh God, for your wisdom. Amen. Ways to achieve in spiritual wisdom is choose wisdom. It's a choice. Hallelujah. It's a choice that you make. Hallelujah. You can continue to, just like you make the negative choices in your life, you can choose wisdom. Hallelujah. You can choose serving God. Amen. So if you want the best for your son, for your life, it starts by with the decision to serve God. Romans 10th chapter and the 9th and 10th verse says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him 
from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, thank you, God, man believeth unto righteousness. Amen. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation, unto freedom. Amen. Amen. Unto being free. Amen. Anybody out there know that they need freedom on today, that they need to be saved, that they need to have wisdom. Hallelujah. That they need to believe God in their heart and confess it with their mouth that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, because some people don't even believe that Jesus was the son of God. But he said, hallelujah, if you want to be saved, that you can have to confess it, not to him, first of all, hallelujah, but then to your friends, hallelujah, to the people that you meet, hallelujah, testify and let them know that I believe God, amen, and I confessed it with my heart, and they're going to ask you, how do you know, hallelujah, that you're saved, because I confess my sins to God, and he told me in Romans, the 10th chapter, and the 9th and the 10th verse, that if I confess, hallelujah, with my mouth, the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, and believe in my heart, thank God, that God raised Jesus from the dead, hallelujah, that, that we shall be saved, because it was on the cross, thank you, Lord, that Jesus died for our sins, amen, all the transgressions, all the things that, hallelujah, that we would be going through, hallelujah, God took it all, all the burdens, all the sins, and we have to be wise enough, hallelujah, to receive everything that God has given us. Amen. Hallelujah. Trust in God to lead you. Don't, don't ignore when God tells you something. This is wisdom. Hallelujah speaking. When, you know, when you're not saved or sometimes people say it even when they say something told me. Amen. That's wisdom speaking. When something tells you not to do something hallelujah, which way to go, when something gets down in your spirit and say, no, you shouldn't go that way, you shouldn't call that person, thank you, Jesus, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, hallelujah, thank you, God, that's wisdom, that's God, hallelujah, that's the Holy Spirit speaking to you, so you can have that good life, that you can have that peace, you know, unfortunately, some people have been, you know, been killed because uh, they didn't listen to that voice, they didn't listen to their voice telling you to get come out of that and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm talking about wisdom on today. Wisdom comes from God. He doesn't wish that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And I thank God. Hallelujah. Don't ignore that voice. Hallelujah. Don't override it because he is a gentleman. He's not going to make you do anything. Hallelujah. You got free choice to do right, thank the Lord, or to do wrong. Hallelujah. Pay attention to what the Holy Ghost is speaking. Amen. To that still small voice inside of you. Hallelujah. It sets boundaries. Guard your heart. Guard your mind. Guard your life. Hallelujah. It's guarded. Don't let anything and anybody in your, in your, you know, God had an inner circle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let anybody take that relationship that you have with God from you. Hallelujah. Because you don't know. Sometimes they know that they're coming forward. Hallelujah, but that, that sometimes they don't even know that the enemy is using them. But that's where wisdom comes in. That's where discernment comes in. And hallelujah, discernment is a part of wisdom, knowing what to do and what not to do. And I'm going to read the scripture about the five wise and the five foolish virgins. It was 10 virgins. This is Matthew, the 25th chapter, verse 1 through 13. They look like everybody else. Thank you. And no one. You know, they were saved. They were all virgins. Hallelujah. They look like everybody else. But I'm going to read what happened in the man, in the name of Jesus. Said Matthew, the 25th chapter says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, thank you, Lord, and five were foolish. They, they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, hallelujah, thank you, God, there was a cry. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out and meet him. Then all the vo those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and for and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy your 
provide for yourself. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. Thank you, Lord. And they that were ready went in with the bride to the marriage. And the door was shut. Thank you, Lord. Wouldn't it be a shame, thank you, God, that God, when he comes back, that you're not ready. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, that you had not prepared that oil. Hallelujah, and this time is that anointed oil, that oil that God gives us. Amen, hallelujah, and knowing God. Amen, you're waiting for God to come back. You're waiting for God to do something, oh God. And all of the, you know, when you go to church, everybody looks like almost the same. Every, when you go to different churches, you look for somebody that speaks the same language, that believes the same, hallelujah. But everybody is not the same. God, we look at the outward appearance. Thank you, Lord. Mm. But God looks at the heart. So when we come in and ask God to come into our lives and we're waiting for him, we're waiting for the bridegroom to help us, we're waiting for Jesus to order our steps, we're waiting for God, hallelujah, to break every chain and every fetter. Hallelujah, we have to be uh, set our face like a flint to know, hallelujah, that we're looking unto the hills that which cometh our help. Our help comes from God that made heaven and earth. Amen. And he will not suffer our foot to be moved. We don't want the door to be shut and said, hallelujah, that you cannot enter in. The main reason to be saved is that God, that you want to make it in one day. You want to make it to heaven. You, Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh, they've been saying this. God is coming years and years. I got plenty of time. But hallelujah. He said, no man knows the day nor the hour. Hallelujah. That the Son of Man shall appear. And will you be ready? Thank you, Lord. Will you be ready when he comes? It's not going to be any time, just like those five foolish virgins. Not going to be time to go to the market to go and get no oil or to say even, because he's going to come quick. Hallelujah. He says in, in a twinkling of an eye, he's going to come that quick. Hallelujah. And you don't want to be left here. Wisdom will tell you that you don't want to be left here when God comes, because that's going to be the tribulation period. Where you want, you wish that you could die, but you wouldn't. I won't even be able to die. Things are going to go on so terrible. You think the world is is going on terrible now? If you're left behind, Hallelujah! And I pray, my prayer is right now today, oh God, that you have wisdom enough to give your life to the Lord. And we're going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, look on each and every person that listens to this broadcast on today. Oh, God, you said talk about wisdom on today. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, give them wisdom to know that they need to leave, live saved, need to be saved. Hallelujah, because you're coming back one day. Hallelujah for a church without a spot or wrinkle or any such thing. So, God, hallelujah, let, them have, let us all have wisdom enough to, hallelujah, ask God to mold us and make us in his image. Amen. To take out everything that's not like God. Oh, God, so we can be ready when you come. And again, I am Evangelist Rochelle McClam Melton, a host of Throughout Generations Ministry, uh, television ministry. Amen. It airs every Saturday from 3, 3.30 to 4. Elder Diamond McClam is the co-host. And we come on Kingdom Purpose Radio every Sunday between 3 to 4 o'clock p.m. All Both of those times are Eastern Standard Time. And God, we thank you for the opportunity to be able to minister to your people. And God, I pray, my prayer is, our prayer is that you would be blessed throughout your generations. Your seed and your seed seed. Oh God, we believe God to keep them and to be have, to be have wisdom throughout your generation. Share it, hallelujah, with your children and your children's children. Share it with someone on today. When God gives you wisdom, don't just keep it for yourself. But hallelujah, be a mentor, be an encourager, be a light in this dark world. I love you, God bless you, and God be with you.